Yeah, Short Track has actually developed more recently, maybe in the last three or four years. It, d it didn't even exist in the early days of mountain biking. Mayhem underway! There they go! It's, uh, it's a little bit like a kind of a criterium where it's uh, generally a short lap, riders are coming by. It's, it's a super fast race. Uh, a short track in the dirt is about probably about 20 minutes. So uh, the guys go from the gun because it's so short, guys can sustain a pretty high speed. And because it goes so fast from the beginning, there's generally one fast line on the course. The start is important. So either getting a good call up or being a, a fast starter is key to doing well on a short track. Yeah, Woo! <laughs> With a lot of the top guys stuck in the back, you know, you got to go for it. It's a very short race. And if you can get off in the beginning, you can save a lot of energy. Burry came back to me and I was already going, you know, maximum and he kind of just closed the gap. I knew I was going to be suffering even more. Yeah, the guy killed it. Uh, finally got up there and uh, Kabush was in second, so I sat on him for a while. Uh, I could feel he was really struggling to hold Wells' pace going up the climb, so I decided to punch it across and uh, just made it across and watered it up in the mud just for Todd to get more of a gap. Well, it's interesting, first of all, because the guys, you know, are so different in size, you know, but, uh, but they're both quick starters. They can start really quickly and they can put out a lot of power. So they're, they're good in the fast stuff, you know, they can sprint up the short hill. It's also, uh, they're good bike handlers, you know, so you got to be able to go through those turns really quickly. I had a great start. Uh, I knew you have to be top five uh, going into that right corner. Unfortunately, I already had to go oh, come off on seventh position. It's so such a difficult, wet, deep corner. After that, yeah, I was was catching up. Felt very good. And uh, yeah, it was good to see Todd and Burry riding away. I really wanted to finish third. It would have been awesome. Top three, all of us. I think it's the first time on the 29er in a, in a race, right? Yeah, um, for me it was a. Uh, I was uh, very wondering uh, how that's going to feel. I uh, definitely put uh, less, uh, more pressure out of the tires than yesterday. So the acceleration is good. Uh, it's, uh, there's no disadvantage at all. The cornering, uh, very confident. It's, uh, you just have to point into the corner, lean in. The bike does the rest. All in all, uh, felt, felt very fast. I cannot say which bike is faster now. <laughs> I still don't know what I'm going to ride tomorrow. Out of Durango, Todd Wells, four specialized, got a specialized event, will four of the world. You know, it's just amazing. Furry Skander is going to come through in your second place ride today, and believe me, he will be the first to get over there and congratulate his teammate. A 29er for this course, it's high speed. The one deciding factor of the course was a big mud bog. And we have these new Renegator tires. They're pretty big volume. The rims are a little bigger volume than normal. And for this type of stuff, you can run a little lower pressure on the hardtail, soak up the bumps, and just roll through the mud. We got the uh, World Cup coming up in the Dalby Forest this coming weekend. If we can weekend. make it there. Yeah, if the volcano stops <laughs> erupting. It's so fun to race those short tracks. And uh, the American girls, they really push it hard. So it's hard for my heart. I'm almost dying. <laughs> No, it, it's so fun and uh, Willow, she went really fast from the start, so we kind of, yeah, just a little bit work together and uh, try to get away. And it's a uh, high level on those girls, so I'm happy to sit, finish second today. It's nice to have two bikes to choose between. It's, uh, but I'm really excited to try out my 29er for the first time in a cross country race tomorrow. I did a few laps on it on Friday and I felt really good on it. So I think it should be a pretty good course for it. Here comes Lena Byberg putting the hammer down. Looks like she dropped Catherine. Coming in for second place.